Hi everyone, this is Ijla, your social media tutor. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Zoom account, schedule and start a meeting, then a few tips for your meetings. Zoom is a great platform for online meetings. You can rather join a meeting or host one by yourself. As you can use Zoom for free, you can also upgrade your plan. So if you're looking for a tool for your virtual meetings, you can start with Zoom. So here we are on Zoom's website. We are going to use Zoom's free version. So let's check plans and pricing first. The free version here allows you to host a meeting up to 100 participants. You can have group meetings for up to 40 minutes and you can have unlimited one-to-one -one meetings as well. You can also choose one of these plans, so to sign up, click on sign up, it's free on the top right. Then for verification, please confirm your date of birth. You can use your email address to sign up, but if you have a Gmail address, you can sign in with Google, or if you want to use Facebook, you can do that there. I'm going to use my email address and click on sign up. If you are using a private email address, Zoom will ask you to activate your account. To do so, check your email box and click on the button in the email. Then list your name here and create a password to continue. Your password must have at least 8 characters, 1 letter and 1 number. It must also include both uppercase and lowercase characters. If you are not signing up on behalf of a primary or secondary institution, you can choose no here. Once you have got that done, click on continue. It asks you if you want to invite your friends here. You can skip this step. Then go to go to my account. Okay, we are ready with our account now. To host a meeting right away, you can go to the top right and click on host a meeting button. Then you can choose whether to host a meeting with video off or on or screen share only. To schedule a meeting, click on schedule a meeting button. We need to write a meeting topic here, but remember, it will be seen by your participants. Then you need to pick a date and time. You need to click on the calendar here to choose that. You don't need to change the duration as you have up to 40 minutes. And make sure your time zone here is right. Then scroll down the page. You will see security section where you can change the meeting passcode. Only users who have the invite link or passcode will be able to join the meeting. You can keep waiting room feature unchecked, otherwise only users admitted by the host will be able to join the meeting. Then you will see video section. These options here let you start your meeting with your video on or off automatically. So if you don't want the video to start automatically, you can leave them as off, otherwise mark it to on so it can automatically start it up. And keep in mind, you can always turn on or off your video during the meeting. So I will turn them on. Once you have done that, you can click on save. Now that you have your meeting scheduled, you can share the meeting invitation with your participants. Just click on this area right here where it says copy the invitation. Here you can copy all the details of your meeting including the topic, date, link and passcode. You just need to click on copy meeting invitation, then it will copy it to your clipboard. Then you can go and paste this in an email or a chat on WhatsApp web and finally share it with your participants. If you want to go back and edit anything like rescheduling or changing the passcode, you can always go into meeting section and click on edit when your mouse is over your meeting. To start your meeting, you need to install Zoom application on your computer or you can just download it to your mobile phone and sign in there and use it through your mobile phone. To download Zoom application on your computer, just click on host a meeting and choose one of them here, then click on download now and install it. When you have the app installed, you can start your meeting on the website by clicking on start button. Then allow Zoom to open the app. Once you allow it, it will run like this. Then click on join with computer audio to hear others and let them hear you as well. You can also start your meeting through the app. Just open the app, sign in, then click on start right next to your meeting. Now it is time for the tips. With the latest updates of Zoom, you have lighting controls, you can touch up your appearance, 
suppress background noise and share your slides as a virtual background. Here under your stop video button, select video settings. Under video, you will see yourself right here. And you can see touch up my appearance here. When you click on the box, you will see a slider that can help you touch up your appearance and give you smoothness. You can also adjust your lighting. Adjust for low light feature is set to auto, but you can manually control that to give yourself a lot more lighting if you don't have enough lighting in the room. Then under the audio, you will see suppress background noise. It is also set to auto, but you can change that as well. There are three options here. For example, high gives you a lot of background noise suppression to help your audio be as clear as possible. It can be about your computer fan noise or you may need to join a meeting in some noisy place so you can control the background noise right here. Now let's get back to the meeting for the other feature. You can now use your PowerPoint presentation as a virtual background. With that feature, all the slides will appear behind you. To do that, click on share screen, then go to advanced tab. If you want others to hear sounds coming from your computer as well as see your shared screen, you can select this option. Then double click on slides as virtual background. This opens up your files where you can select your presentation. Once you select your presentation, click on open. Then you will see your presentation as your virtual background and yourself at the bottom right of the slide. You can click on yourself on the slide and reposition yourself. You can also make yourself larger or smaller. To do that, click and drag a corner of your video. And you can navigate through the slides by the arrows right here. If you want to split yourself from your presentation, you can click on the three dots here and select split video from slides. To stop sharing your presentation, you can click on stop share button. So this is how you create a Zoom account, schedule and start a meeting, a few tips for more professional and confident meetings. If you have any questions about this, just comment below and we will do the best to help you. And share this video with your team so they can start using Zoom and host their own meetings right away. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe our channel so you can get notified for our latest videos about social media, makeup tutorials, our products and more. Now get Zoom and host your meeting.